Hi, welcome to Mapping with the County of Peterborough. Today we're going to take a look at getting familiar with the new HTML5 viewer that replaced our old Silverlight site in the summer of 2018. First we'll click through our disclaimer to have a look. On the left-hand panel we provide you the Home tab which provides quick access to some of our favorite tools and options. By clicking on the Layers link we can access the, all the information that is shown on the site. You can also switch between these using the tabs at the bottom and as additional tools are accessed, additional tabs will become available that you can use to switch between these as well. Where you see a plus symbol on the site, the plus can be clicked in order to expand and show you additional information which may not currently be visible. Layers which are shown in black as the Clean Water Act Policy Supply layer is, are visible on the map at the scale that you're currently at. Information shown in gray isn't available until you zoom in or out to the appropriate level. You can see that as I access the appropriate level, the layer becomes available and can be turned on. By clicking the minus sign, the group compacts and disappears. Some, some layers have subgroups within them, such as the official plan or zoning layers, and each of the levels needs to be checked in order to see the layers within. So you can see the official plan top level is turned on, however the intermediate is not, and until it's clicked, the information within isn't visible. I can turn that off at any of the layers levels, and so by clicking the official plan group entirely, everything within it is turned off. Most of the information on the site is accessed with a single click. So for instance, the Dura Dummer zoning layer comes on with just a quick click. However, the aerials have a special feature. The transparency sliders on the left allow me to transition between the mapping layers gradually to have a look at the way that the imagery has changed over the years. However, with a regular layer, like the zoning, I can turn it off with just a click. To change the aerials I can simply click on and off down here as well, or I can use the quick access buttons at the bottom to switch between years. Layers have, layers have their legends shown in the layer list with a quick symbol, such as this tree inventory, or with a drop-down to display the differences when there are multiple different sorts of symbology shown on the map. So you can see the difference between an intermittent or a permanent stream. Now let's have a look at the tools. We collect the tools at the top here under the various different, the four various different toolbars. Home gives you some quick access to tools that will let you navigate around the site, export images, and print the map that you're looking at. The Map tab allows you to add or limit the information that's visible on the site. Tools gives you some access to some of the, the best um, ways for you to, to work with the data on the site, and we'll get into those in additional tutorials. However, suffice to say that where you see a drop-down arrow, there's more information available. And then often within that tool, additional options become available as it's selected. When it's shown in blue, that tool is enabled, and when it's clicked again, it's turned off. The Search tab provides access to a few different ways to search the site, and again, we'll get into that in a future tutorial. There's some quick access buttons on the site to work with our scale, either by looking at the visual scale bar, using our representative fractions, and zooming in or out. I can compact those tools back up by clicking on them again. I can work with my coordinates or switch between them. And finally, I can I can hide the uh, I can hide the 
text the labels that are shown for my tools with the quick checkbox at the top here. Once you're familiar with the site, this is a great way to save some space and access more of the map. Finally, if you're working with the navigation tools, I'm simply clicking with my mouse and dragging, or if you're using a touch screen, it's, it's simply a, a press with your finger and, and a drag. Um, in order to zoom out, you can either wheel your mouse back out, and it'll wheel out from the point that you're, uh, you're hovered over, or you can use the zoom in and out buttons, and it'll center on the middle of your map. Thanks for your time today. We'll look forward to talking to you again.